Hi everyone, this is Bethany. Um, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to kind of go over some goals that I have. Um, in the next couple of months as I prepare for my very first IBJJF uh, tournament as a blue belt in jiu-jitsu. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> um, I have competed in tournaments before as a white belt, but this will be my very first big tournament um, on a whole other level. So, I kind of wanted to go over this plan with you today. I'm a teacher and I had to organize my plan into a thinking map to kind of let you know where I want to shift my focus over the next uh, few months as I prepare for this. So I guess I wanted to start with the why. Why do I do jujitsu? Initially, my husband got me involved as well as our kids. Um, I watched for a while and then last July in 22, um, I decided to start doing it and it just became something that I love to do. Um, it's a lot of fun. Everyone at our gym, Triumph Fight Academy, is really supportive. The women support one another. Um, it's great to support my kids and my husband and vice versa. And then we have some really amazing coaches. So that's why I love doing it. Um, it's also a really big challenge, and it's something I never thought I'd be able to do or ever pictured myself doing. So that's what's really cool about it, and it's really empowering. Um, so before I move into everything else, I just kind of wanted to introduce myself. My name is Bethany. Um, I am a mom to two beautiful children, Hannah and Jacob. Hannah's almost 10 in a couple weeks, and then Jacob is 7, and they keep us very busy um, on the go with sports and their social calendars. And then I'm married to Kevin. He's a Marine, and we've been married 19 years this Monday. Um, so we have a lot on our plate, just keeping our household together, and then as well as working outside of the home. I am a teacher. I've been teaching, this will be my 18th year of teaching, and I am an elementary school teacher, so it's really busy because I teach every subject you can think of, and I'm always constantly planning and grading papers, so I have a very busy life. And then on top of it, we like to throw in jujitsu and then strength training. So, um... We are super busy, but um, planning for something like this is really important, so I want you guys to come along with me and hold me accountable. So here we go. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about my competition experience in the past. Um, so one of the things I am really proud of is um, my very first jiu-jitsu match that I ever did was last November. I was fresh out the gate three months in, and I wanted to test where I was. Um, and I am just so proud. I won my very first match in my very first tournament. So that is a really awesome thing. And then two months after that, in January of 2023, I got double gold yeah. against a 20-year-old, guys. I am over 40. I beat this girl 20 years younger than me. So that was pretty awesome as well. And then um, back in June... It may have changed um, as of now, but back in June, I was ranked number two in women's no-gi in the world. So I was pretty proud of that accomplishment. And then finally, one other um, competition experience that is ranked high on my list is when I competed in my first super fight. I was in a cage match, okay? <laughs> um, but I did jujitsu in that um, super fight, and I did win by submission. So... I am pretty proud that I was able to get in there and do that. So that's a little bit about some of my highs and some of the um, experience I've had with jiu-jitsu so far. Um, and I've definitely had some lows as well, some losses, but I'm excited to just kind of learn from this experience. So that kind of goes into this next category, my goals and my expectations. So obviously in this tournament, I want to win. Um, but alongside that, I think the training and the learning experience I'm going to get from it will be just as uh, rich and memorable uh, along with winning. <laughs> and then I want to uh, improve my endurance through this process. Um, I want to get better with my stamina, my cardio, my technique in the next uh, two months leading up to this 
um, tournament. And then finally, I really just hope to have the best athletic performance I can. I want to make my kids proud, my husband proud, my coaches proud. I want to make myself proud. Um, so those are my main goals and expectations. I know they're hard to measure, but um, those are the big pieces that I want to kind of take away from this whole entire experience. As far as the time frame, we're sitting at about nine weeks from the tournament. Um, October 7th and 8th will be the tournament days in Charlotte. Um, so we're looking at just a little over 60 days. And so I'm hoping that this is kind of going to be like a 60 day transformation where I can work on my, um, my diet, my weight, um, my strength, and again, technique um, in the process. Um, when I go into the next category, looking at diet and weight, um, how am I going to achieve the goals that I want to? I am going to focus more on the intermittent fasting piece, um, about 16 hours of fasting and eating within an eight-hour window. Um, in the past, I've been successful with the ketogenic diet, so I'm going to focus more on uh, high fat um, and eating a lot of protein, um, low carb more so, and then I will be tracking those macronutrients along the way as well, just to make sure I'm well-rounded there. Um, as far as jujitsu, um, currently I'm training about three to four times a week. Uh, I want to beef that up to about four to five times a week, maybe with a minimum of three gi classes and two no gi classes, give or take. I may have to switch my schedule based on the busyness of the year um, and maybe do some later classes here and there, but that is my plan as far as jujitsu is concerned. And then lifting. Uh, right now I'm doing a two body part split. So I'm, I'm lifting about three to four times a week and I'm doing like the two muscle groups. So like chest back, right? One day. Um, but I want to kind of change that so I can work out more frequently. So I think I want to do individualized muscle groups. Um, that way my workouts can be a little shorter and I can get it done in the busyness of my day, but I can also do it more frequently. So every day. Um, as far as rest days, um, I'm not going to pencil rest days in because I think they naturally pop up anyway because life is chaotic and busy. Um, but that's kind of my plan there. Uh, and I'll talk more about that in the final column where I talk about scheduling and stuff. And then why do I lift? I think lifting is really important to be a good um, uh, person that can be well-rounded when it comes to jiu-jitsu and also strength training. Um, so mostly for injury prevention, I've come a long way with jujitsu. In the beginning, I, could, I had sore knees, bad back, and I've come a long way with that. And that has been mostly because of my lifting and also because of jujitsu. So I do it for uh, prevention of injury. I also do it for muscular endurance. Um, Although I can get a little winded when I'm rolling, I still have come a long way and I have seen lots of improvement and I know a lot of that is because of my strength training. And then finally, when it comes to rest, um, I have to see the chiropractor um, usually one time a week, so I'm going about four times a month. And then I try to do the sauna. We have an infrared sauna in our house that we use, so I try to go about 15 to 20 minutes after my workout just so I can... Um, kind of just do better all around and get a, a better performance everywhere I'm uh, working. And then finally, my last column, I have schedule, work-life balance. Um, I think I'm going to, with the busyness of life, uh, I'm going to have to start my mornings, 5 a.m. with lifting, then head to work, and after work, we have sports and jujitsu, and it'll be whatever pops up. We have football, wrestling, dance. Um, jiu-jitsu and cheerleading. So there's a lot that the kids have to get to and then also our jiu-jitsu classes that Kevin and I are doing. So that after school will be focused mostly on that sports category. Um, and then of course I got to incorporate that family time afterward followed by any prep or planning that I have to do as a teacher on a day-to-day -day basis or planning ahead because I'm always planning ahead. Um, so this is kind of my plan over the course of the next uh, 60 days or so. Um, I wanted to make this video to kind of hold myself accountable. Um, I would love any constructive criticism, positive feedback that you have for me. 
Um, over the course of the next uh, nine weeks, I want to kind of do little snippets of videos that kind of hone in on some of these aspects of this chart, um, just so that, again, I can have high expectations for myself, and you could um, hopefully be inspired by what you're seeing here. Um, and I would love any encouragement that you can give, and hopefully I'm encouraging to you, whether it is a Whatever challenge you have coming up, it doesn't have to be jujitsu or lifting, but um, hopefully this will give you some inspiration for whatever you need to tackle um, coming up. If you like what you saw here today, I would love for you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can check out my fights as well as my husband's and my kids on our YouTube channel. So like and subscribe, and hopefully um, you'll keep coming back for more. We'll see you soon.